Welcome back to the Gran Turismo 7 license guides. Today we're focusing on the International B licenses. For license challenge one, our first breaking point is going to be just as we're approaching this hill on the right hand side. We're going to go down into third gear and we're going to coast around the first part of the corner. We're aiming to be in the middle of the track and then as we're going round we're going to be 50% throttle on it. Be careful of the left hand side track limits because that will catch you out quite easily. For the second license challenge at Daytona we're braking at the black marker you can see just sticking out there and then we're braking quite hard coasting around the first corner down into third and then we're going to then we're slightly on the accelerator. For both of these chicanes we're going to be using a lot of the yellow exit curbs so make sure to get your car on them. For license challenge three, our first braking point is going to be at the 100 meter board. We're going to be braking heavily, going down into third. Careful not to brake and steer at the same time because you cut this car does not like it. As we're coming to this long elongated right hander, we're going to be coasting round and then we're accelerating as we're coming towards the end of the. Our next breaking point is going to be the orange square that we have on the right hand side. Down into second, making sure we're not braking and steering at the same time. For this license challenge at Tokyo Expressway. We need to be as close to the walls and the barriers as much as possible. This is where you will gain the most amount of time. We're going to be staying in fourth gear for this first section. Our first braking point is going to be at the 100 meter mark where we're going down into third. It's all about your exit here and this will make or break whether you get the gold time or not. For license challenge number five, we're going to be doing exactly what the description says. We're going to be turning in early, especially for the first turn here. Just as we go over the second bump there, we're going to be turning in, getting as close to the right hand side as possible. For this next section, we want to go as straight as physically possible. We're going to swing to the right a little bit and then we're going to brake as we get to this GoPro sign on the right hand side. Down into second. I chose to rev it out here as I felt this gave me more speed. For license challenge number six, you want to be careful about fully accelerate. You want to be careful about fully accelerating here because because of the wet conditions, the car will lose control really, really easily. So we're braking at the 50 meter mark. We're going down into second. Again, we're not applying full throttle here. We're just sort of coasting, lifting and coasting around the corner. Use as much track on the right hand side as possible. Braking just as the curbing ends there. As so we're going around, stick to the inside and then move to the outside. You can use a lot of kerb on the right hand side here if you wish. For license challenge number seven, we're going to be braking as we get to this final blue marker on the right hand side. Using the different coloured concrete here to go around, I went slightly wide here so you want to avoid that if possible. Our next braking point is going to be just as we get to this small white painted section of the barrier on the left hand side. For this second right hander in the circuit we're going to be letting off and then as we're going past the stewards that's when we're going to start to fully accelerate. License challenge number eight. As we get to the bottom of the dip here, this is where we're going to start braking. For this collective section of right handers, we're going to be using the inside curbs and the outside of the track. For 
for license challenge number nine. We're going to be breaking at the 50 meter mark, but we're going to be turning in late. This will give us a better exit on this corner. We're going to be aiming for the middle of the track, sticking as close as possible to the blue and yellow curbing. And on the second turn, we're going to be putting our left-hand tyres over the curbing as well. And finally, for licence challenge number 10, we're braking just as we get into the tunnel. Going down into second gear. For this right-hander, we're braking just as we get to this first rock on the left-hand side. Careful not to brake and steer at the same time. It's really easy to invalidate on the left-hand side, so be mindful there as well. This next right-hander, we're braking just as the curbing ends on the left-hand side. And for our final braking point, we're braking ever so slightly as we get into the tunnel. As we exit the tunnel, we're going to be sticking to the gravel on the left-hand side as closely as possible. And there we have all the international B licenses completed to a gold standard. On the left hand side will be a link to the Gran Turismo 7 license playlist and on the right will be a link to the one hour endurance race challenges for the Gran Turismo 7 missions.